Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I just got done finishing putting the bushing into a uh, rear sway bar link. Um, I, I kind of felt like at first it was a waste of money. Uh, I'm kind of curious now though, uh, because there's so little rubber, it really doesn't, I don't really see it making much of a difference. But uh, I took one of the old ones out and I noticed that uh, it's definitely, the rubber gets affected. I, I don't know if you can tell, but this, this sway bar link, yeah, there you go, that's a lot of, yeah, you can tell it, it's definitely tilted. Um, compared to the original, uh, if you can tell the uh, left side, uh, this side right here, it, it, it's it's a lot lower, and this part goes up. I guess just from it being pushed down a lot. So I'm thinking this rubber definitely is uh, over time. It does make a difference. I would say if you can to pair it with some, I guess Super Pro uh, bushings. Um, I'm not going to do that just because I, I'm kind of concerned that having such a rigid rear end would cause some problems. Um, with the uh, oversteer, uh, you know, I'm not like a professional drifter, so I, I don't really want to have to deal with that. Uh, but um, it was a pretty easy mod. One thing I noticed was that the bushings, they have this little mark right here. I try to match it up with the uh, the marking right here. I, I didn't really, I kind of missed, but I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. I noticed that both the sway bar links, they, they had this little mark right here in different spots. So I, I don't really think that really matters. I think it's good for you guys to go ahead and check. Um, but uh, I guess one thing also is make sure that uh, I use the 22 millimeter uh, long, long, uh, I guess long bit to uh, push it through into a, uh, a bigger, I guess, pushing cup. Um, I accidentally used a 24 millimeter before and I completely ruined the uh, sway bar link. Um, I just took like, uh, I guess like a nanometer of metal out and uh, it literally just made the, the bushing wouldn't even stick in there anymore. It just, when I put it in, it would just slide back out. So definitely be careful with your bits. Um, I definitely felt kind of a little bit upset that I had to buy a new sway bar link, but costing like 50 bucks. Um, but uh, I guess I guess I got a little extra sway bar link I can just keep on my desk as a paperweight. But uh, anyways, um, that's that. So uh, another thing also I wanted to point out was the uh, the end right here. There's a hex bit that you could put in here. Uh, my other one was really rusted on the end, so when I tried to take off the bit, this started spinning. So I just put in a... Uh, I just put in a hex bit and just turn it off. It's really easy, so um, it's, it's not a big big deal. Uh, it's a relatively simple mod. Uh, it should help with the stable. It should help with the, uh, I guess the uh, rear end being a little bit more compliant um, in terms of the sway bar uh, doing its job better. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. So looking forward to having it in. All right, guys, talk to you later.